Welcome to today's dentistry with Dr. Blanche Gruby. The goal of our program is to educate you, the patient, in all aspects of the Gruby Huggins Holistic Dental Protocol. On this installment, we're discussing the biological difference. And now, here's Dr. Blanche. Hi, I'm here tonight with one of my colleagues, Dr. Derek Grieco, who is one of my colleagues in Centers for Healing. Um, in previous le lectures and videos, I've talked to you about Centers for Healing. These are centers that I have established with my other colleague, Dr. David Villarreal, and we decided what the United States really needs is a series of dental centers that are committed to practicing dentistry following the Dr. Huggins protocol. That's Dr. Hal Huggins protocol. Why are we so committed to the Dr. Huggins protocol? Simple. It works. It works, and it's the safest way to go, and that's why we do it. So, hey, Dr. That's Derek, right. how are you? Great. Glad Good. to be here. Good. Um, Dr. Derek is from the Pittsburgh area. Uh, people ask me where am I from. Of course, I always say I'm from Brooklyn, but I've actually been living in Scranton, northeast Pennsylvania, for 34 years, so I guess you could say I'm from Scranton also. I'm from a lot of places. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit tonight about biological or holistic dentistry. Why is it different? What's, what are the differences between a conventional dentist and a biological dentist? And yes, I know I'm going to offend some conventional dentists and they're going to get mad at me and they're going to say, that's not true of all of us. So let me be right up front and say, right. yes, it's not true of all conventional dentists. But some of the things that we're going to say here tonight are true of a lot of conventional dentists. So with that being said, you need, as a consumer, to be very careful. So what are the differences? Well, number one, most of us do not have a local practice. We may have some local patients, but the majority of our patients come from far away. 95% um, of my practice comes from out of state, out of country. We've had people from as far as Saudi Arabia, Australia, Japan, coming to get our work done. Well, that is, just that alone makes it very different than a conventional dental office. Absolutely, yes. I mean, if you're, if you're doing work on somebody and things are not quite going right, you can always say, come back next week. Right. Right? Have right. you ever done that? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, you say, well, come back next week and we'll finish mm -hmm. up or I'll see you mm -hmm. in two weeks and we'll finish up. We can't do that. Patients are not going to stick around two weeks and come back to finish it up. So that's the number one difference. So that's, that adds an extra added level of stress to the work that's being done. And that's not to say that you and I are, are super stressed out during the day. It's no. just that we know that our work has to be at a certain level. Right. Um, and right. it has to be completed. And it really doesn't matter what the clock says doesn't matter if the clock says it's almost 5 o'clock, almost mm -hmm. 6 o'clock, almost 7 o'clock. We have to get the work done. Yeah, we had that experience today. Yes, we so. did. So. Uh, both of our patients took <clears throat> had situations that just took us longer than we anticipated. And, uh, you know, right. I think the dental assistants are the ones that suffer the most. It's very difficult, very uh, yeah. stressful dentistry. And, you know, they're traveling from quite a ways away, a few hours mm -hmm. away. So we have to make sure even in our, in our provisionalization, then right. it's going to hold up, and we don't want a patient. That's a big word. Wait a minute. Provisionalization. Say that again. Provisionalization. Provisionalization. <laughs> that I'm not up. even going to ask him to spell it. So, what is that? Uh, so, don't for tell example, our you know, we're that? doing a bridge, and we're taking cutting off. For example, today we cut off uh, an old bridge on a patient, and we were concerned there might be mercury silver fillings underneath, and also the bridge was made of uh, porcelain and metal, so. With our biologic approach, we cut the bridge off. Now, conventionally, in a, in a conventional practice, that patient may be a local person that may live 10, 15 minutes away. So you put a temporary on, and they call you next week and say, you know, my tent popped off. Oh, well, no big deal. Yeah, so that's what a provisional is, <laughs> a temporary. Temporary. And no oh, big okay. deal, but when a patient's three or four hours away, it is a big deal. we have to make sure that that stays on there. So we use a different type of cement. The cement that's harder to get off when we we take that provisional off, and uh, just to adds to the 
the technique and the stress of the the, the procedure. So, um, mm. so that's, that's that's the number that's, one difference. That's one of the one differences. Of the Everything has to be done just right. Um, also, conventional dentists, many of them do root canals. Yes. Okay. So because they do root canals. I'm not going. I'm not going to come out and say that they're flippant or, or lackadaisical about their work, but if decay is deep, they can very quickly come to the point in the in the in the exception that you know what. I think this patient's going to need a root canal on this tooth. Well, doing a root canal is not an option for us, mm -hmm. so we have to be even ten times more careful removing the decay. We use something called a biomimetic approach, which means that we remove the decay around the periphery uh, very gradually and slowly coming to the middle of the tooth where the nerves are. We have to be very careful not to touch those nerves because for us, root canal is not an option. And so if the person has decay that is so badly that it's going to go into the nerve of the tooth, we're very upset about that. We don't ever want to see that happen. Um, so our approach is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we do biomimetic dentistry, which means we would clean out the periphery, the outside of the tooth first very carefully. And then as we get closer and closer to the pulp horn, the, the very tip where the nerve is, we might actually leave a little bit of decay there. I know to some dentists out there, that sounds like yeah. heresy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, but it now has been proven that you can ozonate a tooth with just a little bit of decay. I'm not saying a lot of decay, just a little bit of decay. You can ozonate that tooth and kill all of the germs and then go ahead and fill mm -hmm. the whole thing and save the patient literally thousands of dollars and the suffering that comes along with having a root canal done. Yeah. So that's one of the second uh, big differences between a biological dentist and a conventional dentist. So what do you think, Derek? Can you think of anything else that, make, that separates us from conventional dentists? Well, the third thing is something that uh, we find that's common in our profession is mm -hmm. we critique each other's work. Oh, right? oh, oh, so, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Dentists are so, great at that. So uh, we try to be very careful and... Uh, but a lot of these patients are going to be going back home right. to their dentist for follow-up right. treatment, whether they're going to be making, if we're doing multiple tooth extractions and mm -hmm. uh, of root canal teeth or the unfortunate loss of a tooth, a lot of these patients are coming back and they're right. going back to the dentist for... They go back uh, for cleaning sometimes or, or whatever. Yeah. They yeah. go back for cleaning. For and basic maintenance. That's right. And then, so then it leaves... Uh, we're on the chopping block. Yes. I hear you. That is true. We're on the chopping block. Dentists are, are very good at critiquing each other. I mean, when I was in dental school, we used to say we police each other. Mm -hmm. Kind of made it sound like that was a good thing. Right. We police each other. Uh, and I've been in dentistry now, gosh, over 40 years. Um, I see it more like we eat each other, <laughs> you know. <laughs> we, kill, we kill ourselves and we eat each other uh, more than just policing each other. Um, yeah. Usually, if there's a problem with the state board, it's, it's usually from another dentist that critiqued your work and and um, and didn't like yeah. it or critiqued my yeah. work. I mean, I had a dentist. I had a patient complain to the state board because I said the person had um, six cavities, and they went back to their home dentist, and their home dentist said, "No, they only had four cavities." Mm -hmm. And so, oh, now yeah. we're a big big uproar. And so, I had to actually show the fellow from the state board how to find a cavity. And so we have to give him about a half an hour lesson on how to find a cavity. I said, so you tell me. Put on, take this magnifier and put this in your hand, because I wear magnifying glasses. Yes. I said, put this in your hands and take a look at the x-rays and tell me how many of those dark spots do you see. He counted seven. <laughs> I said, you're absolutely right. There were seven. I said, I had chosen not to fill one because it was small. And so here you have, I'm saying one thing, the other dentist is saying another thing. Right. It really puts you, the consumer, in a very confusing and very awkward position because you've got to have feel out and see who's telling the truth. That's right. And that's why a lot of times we refer, when we say we're Huggins, we right. bless them in being trained by Dr. Dr. Huggins. Hal Huggins. And we refer our patients to the Huggins protocol. Right. And so because some Patients will call our office, and for whatever reason, sometimes we're too far away or we, they can't get in soon enough. Right. And they say, well, I'm going to just had a call the other day. 
patient was going to look dentist. for a dentist in her providing network. We said, okay. Okay. Be sure that they follow the Huggins protocol. Right. And uh, she said, what does that mean? And we explained that to her, and she says, mm -hmm. you know what? I'll be giving you a call back if I find that this office isn't doing it. <laughs> so, sure enough, but, you got a call back. <laughs> so hopefully next week we'll see. Yeah, but we'll that was see. this week before we... We'll see. So we got a couple so. of differences here between conventional dentists and, and biological dentists. Mm -hmm. And specifically those who follow the Huggins Protocol. It's almost as if, you know, there are people who follow the Jewish faith and then there's Orthodox people who follow the Jewish faith. There are people who are Christians and then there are Orthodox Christians. And yes. usually the term Orthodox means a little stricter. Um, and I think that's it's that mm -hmm. way with holistic dentistry, don't you think? Yes, you I find mean, there's, all different. Yeah, there's a lot of people options. out there. Yeah, they call themselves right. holistic dentists, and they're just mercury-free dentists. Mm -hmm. They do not put in mercury fillings, which I'm very grateful for. I'm I'm hoping I see the day when there is no mercury being placed anywhere. But that doesn't make them holistic or biological dentists. Yes, right. Um, no, there's a big difference between the two. <clears throat> you going to say something? Mm -hmm. No, I was just agreeing with you on okay. that. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we've got a couple of differences. Number one, the holistic biological dentist is going to be very careful about removing mm -hmm. decay. The holistic biological dentist knows they're going to be critiqued, so they're very careful about their work. And um, the biological dentist is going to be very careful about not pulping out or creating something called a, having to create a, a root canal and, and not having to yeah. do that. That was one of the things I was going to add to, that you had mentioned before. We like to, when we get close to that pulpo area, sometimes right. we'll switch to a real slow speed. That's right. Uh, yeah, really that's right. slow speed uh, handpiece right. with a lot of water. Uh, but it, the advent or the, the inception of biomimetic dentistry has helped to, with the ozonated, ozonation of the tooth, right. we can still do that, but we don't have to go as far right. as, as we did before. So. Right. So Dr. Derek and I, we practice very conservatively. We like to leave as much tooth structure as we possibly can. You really won't see us crowning or, or putting an onlay on a tooth unless we absolutely have to. And there's not much tooth structure because, you know, what most people don't realize is that the tooth is alive. Yeah, it's, right. it's hard. Right. Like this table is hard. But at the microscopic level, it's it's more like a sponge. Mm -hmm. There are tubules and there's protein and all kinds of fluids passing back and forth. It's very much alive. It is. And it doesn't like getting cut. So, you know, try or, to be or, preserved. Or covered over top because you, you're ruining the circulation. That's right. Which is something we never, you know, right. we never really thought about in, in the conventional dental uh, education. Right. Had. Right. So. And, and once you put a metal crown on a tooth... Mm. The, the fluid can no longer flow from the inside of the tooth to the outside. I think that was Dr. Steinman, that was it. Yes. It was Dr. Steinman who, who right. discovered that, that the fluid flow goes from the inside of the tooth to the outside of the tooth, just as your skin is evaporating fluid right now. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not sweating, you're not sweating, but we are losing fluid. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Steinman realized that fluid goes from the inside of the tooth to the outside of the tooth all the time. If you put a metal crown on top, it stops. It doesn't happen anymore. Did you ever notice when you take some yes. of these old crowns oh. off, the tooth is rubbery underneath. Yes. It's like, yes, it feels like silly or it can putty. Be very spongy. Very spongy, so. and it's just it's just not a healthy situation at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I experienced even today, taking out some of the, cutting off some of yes. these crowns. Yeah. Really yes. mushy underneath. So that's our discussion for this evening. I know I'm going to get some flack from conventional dentists, but I always do. I'm getting used to it. Right. <laughs> Have a good right. evening. Thank you for watching another installment of Today's Dentistry with Dr. Blanche Gruby. The goal of our program is to educate you, the patient, in all aspects of the Gruby Huggins Holistic Dental Protocol and how it offers you dentistry that is safe for the whole body. Educate yourself. Watch the other informative and new patient videos right here on our website. Then call for an appointment at the Gruby Clinic.